morning everyone! Today we're starting our arts unit and the theme that we're going to explore over the next couple lessons is the theme of a farm. Now does anyone know what a farm is? Hmm. Have you ever visited a farm? And what did you find on the farm? Well, a farm is a place where crops are grown and where animals are brought up. I wonder what animals we could find on a farm. Maybe there's some small animals and some big animals. What animals have you seen on a farm before? Have you ever seen a chicken on a farm? Do you know what I have to show you today? I have a little chick. How cute is this? This is a chick that's the example for the visual art project we're going to make today. Who can see what material I've made this chick out of? I've used yellow feathers to represent this chick and I've painted his face yellow. Who can think of another animal that we could find on a farm? Hmm. I've seen on a farm pigs. Have you ever seen pigs on a farm? Look at what I found. This is a pig. This is another example of the project we're going to do today. Do you see how in the pig I've chosen a pink felt material? That's what I think represents the skin of a pig. Hmm, what do you think? Now, I want you to take a moment to close your eyes and think of what your favorite farm animal is. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it! Do you know what your favorite one is? My favorite farm animal is a sheep. Who knows what a sheep sounds like? Bah, bah. So today, I am going to show you how to make a sheep animal out of art. What's your favorite animal? Do you got it in your mind? Now, I want you to think about what material you can use that's found in the classroom that would be appropriate for your chosen animal. For example, I've chosen pink felt for my pig and yellow feathers for my chicken. The feathers are very soft and fluffy the felt is also soft, but not as soft as the feathers. For my sheep, I'm going to use cotton balls. Cotton balls are white and fluffy, just like sheep's wool. So I'll show you what we're going to do. Have you picked your chosen material? Alright, we're going to take an old toilet paper roll, and the first thing we're going to do is attach legs. I've got, right here, a pipe cleaner. So I'm gonna cut it, make sure you're careful with your scissors, to the leg size. How many legs does your animal have? Why don't you go ahead and get some legs for it? And I'm gonna attach those legs to my toilet paper roll. Now, once your, that step is done, we're going to attach the cotton balls by putting glue all over the toilet paper roll, just like that. And I'm going to take my cotton balls and I'm just going to stick them on the glue. Wow, they're so soft and fluffy. What kind of texture is your material? Do some of you have a rough material? Or maybe a very smooth, silky material? Hmm. I'm just covering this whole thing in cotton balls. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now, once this step is done, we're going to move on to making the of the animal. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a paper. 
I've chosen a white paper because sheep have white faces. What color face do you think your animal has? Does it have a blue face? Or does it have a yellow face like my chicken? You can take any color paper you want or you could paint it like I've done on these examples. So I'm going to take my face and I'm going to draw the face of what a sheep looks like. Hmm. I'm going to give them some eyes, some big eyes, and some eyelashes, and a nose, and a smile. There's my sheep. And I'm going to make some ears by cutting a cotton ball in half and gluing them on my face. Just like that. How do you think he looks? Like a sheep? And now I'm going to use some tape to stick my face to my body. And now I have got a white nice sheep. Just like that. So there's my sheep. How's your animal looking? You finish up your animal and when we come back, we're going to see what mischief our animals have gotten to on the farm. I'll see you soon. Bye!